sisterhood is flourishing in one South Suburban Chicago area. These women bond over their love of ice, pucks, and skates. They are hockey players. No, they don't get paid, and many of them aren't what you call superstars. There are a few novices cutting their teeth and their blades, however. These women share a uniform, a name, and an unrelenting desire to play a game. These are the Beverly Bombshells. We have girls that come out because they just need an escape just to do something from, for themselves. We have single girls that just come out to have something to do. I mean, I just do it because it's exercise and it's fun. The Beverly Bombshells were founded in 2015. The hockey club consists of three teams total, novice, intermediate, and advanced. In just days, the intermediate and advanced clubs will compete in the Women's Central Hockey League playoffs. That's right, there's a league, and it spans six states, Illinois, Indiana, Iowa, Missouri, Michigan, and Wisconsin. And for every player, there is a story behind why they play. Take 58-year-old bombshell defense woman, Cynthia Lupa. I started when I was 50. I really wanted to play it uh, for years. I couldn't find a woman's team. My kids played hockey. Okay. So uh, just once, one day I saw these women on the ice and I didn't inquire about it. And it was like a learn to skate for women, hockey. And that's how I started. And then there are the lifers, like Leanne Millis, a bombshell who has been skating since she was three. She's from Canada and played hockey in high school and in college. Leanne is the definition of hockey tough. Just check out what happened to her during her first year as a member of the Bombshells. But my season was pretty short because I broke my leg out on the ice. Leanne broke her tibia, fibula, and ankle. She was out for the remainder of the year, but she came back strong this season for the Bombshells, new and improved. Leanne now plays with a metal rod, a plate, five screws, and four pins in her leg. Here. Andrea Driscoll got through another hockey practice thanks to her brother's goalie pads and her son's example. He is why she decided to become a goalie despite not having any prior experience at the position. Only her body now stands in the way of a screaming hockey puck. Six ounces of vulcanized rubber that has the force of a Mike Tyson punch when it hits the body. What she's doing may sound crazy to some, but her motivation and purpose is real. How? She's the second goalie in her household now. I like that it's something my son and I share, and it's something that he encourages me to do and that we can do together. How old is your son? Time, he is eight. Okay. He will be nine in May. According to this observer, the women's hockey movement is exploding in Chicago. Indeed, the sisterhood on ice is very strong. And retirement isn't in the plans for many of these bombshells, especially Kristen Vanderbilt. When I asked her how long she planned on playing, this was her response. Until I can't move anymore. 